Well, I'm here back at FHO Racing and chatting to the great Mr. Brian McCormack. Uh, what a setup FHO have got here, this TT, and Brian has joined them, and it's the bikes are looking superb out on track, Brian. How are they feeling now? Yeah, everything's going really well, actually. Um, I've been lucky enough to be with the team all last year in BSB as well, and the aim last year was to be on the roads with FHO, but obviously that didn't happen. So Faye was good enough to keep me on, um, keep me sharp in BSB, and then come and, and do the job on the roads. Unfortunately, a little bit of an incident at Northwest. We didn't really get to do much racing, so but this is one we've been waiting for, especially Pete as a teammate as well. It's great, you know, like this team has won TTs before. So for me, I've been inside the top 10 for the last couple of years as a privateer, so to have this set up behind me that's the only way I can see myself going forward so uh, yeah very grateful to them and uh, the Roadhouse Macau FHO bikes are the best they can get so yeah we'll see how it goes and having a teammate like Hickey and the experience that he's got it's going to benefit you massively does he has he been supporting you in that way have you been getting some coaching tips off him yeah How's that been working? we've done quite a bit of laughs together um, mm -hmm. yeah what he knows is, 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 is brilliant you know uh, <laughs> I've been coming here longer, which is worse. <laughs> uh, so asking the fellow who, for advice that's coming here less than me is, uh, is mad. But look, he's, he's world class and everybody knows that between he's done everything, world super bikes, um, world endurance, and he's a top road racer in the world. So you couldn't ask for a better teammate. Um, we get on quite well. We spend a lot of time together as well. So we know each other quite well. So he's not afraid to tell me if I'm, if I'm not doing right or whatever anyway. So yeah, it's, it's been great. And as I said, this team has won won TTs, won Macau Grand Prix, won Ulsters, won everything, so it's uh, it's the best place to be. So tell us a bit more of that transition from a privateer to racing in the TT with FHO. I mean, for you, the stress must be, is it the stress level slightly different with regards to organisation, or is, is the mindset different going into the race? No, you think so. As a, like, they're the official BMW team, so you'd think that would be a bit, a bit of pressure, but to be honest, everyone here we're all good friends we go on holidays together we we socialize together and there's it doesn't ha it's, that atmosphere isn't here where there's pressure on me and Faye to be honest doesn't put any pressure like she just wants me to go out and enjoy it and and improve you know improve on what we've done last last time and that's that's the big thing so there's no pressure from them there, it's just whatever pressure I put on myself um and even at that i don't really put much pressure on myself if i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it i go fast you know what i mean so I'm just, uh, the sun is shining. This is the most laps we've gotten in a long time. So it's uh, it's been good so far. Yeah, as a privateer, usually I'm down the grass down there somewhere, um, working out of a van with a, with a few of my mates. And in fairness, these boys have come along with me in, into this team. So it's it's a lot of familiar faces. So it, it doesn't make a huge difference to me. And it's, it's just a bit nicer, a bit flashier. <laughs> it's definitely flashy. Yeah. Uh, so coming back to the bikes then, Brian, you haven't had the Super Twin out yet, have you? I've got one lap on the Super Twin, and okay. we had a little bit of a, a little bit of a fault with that. Um, the Global Robots um, Triumph I was out on last night for the first couple of laps as well in the 600s. Uh, we got one and a half laps, unfortunately, with the Red Flag. That actually surprised me. It was the first time on it. We went really, really well. We've um, I've never really done much on a 600 or small bikes here. It's my first time actually riding a Twin here as well, so it's... Uh, it's it's different. I'm not the smallest chap in the world, so it's it's hard to get tucked in. But um, much nicer, much friendlier than these two big beasts. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to riding all bikes. There's not one bike that I'm not enjoying at the moment. So we just need to sort out a few of the things in the super bike. But super stock is ready to rock and roll. So uh, I am quite happy with everything. I was watching you going over Balaf Bridge a couple of nights ago, and you were looking smooth. Yeah, <laughs> I was smooth up until one lap last night where I really overjumped it. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was Ricky Carmichael or something. But uh, yeah, it's been I've been. I'm not really the most aggressive rider. I kind of take it as a common smooth, smooth, as smooth as I can be. Um, usually, I don't jump it too big, but last night I got a bit, a bit too excited. But uh, yeah, everything's going well. Yeah, awesome. I'm really enjoying it, and uh, the track is is a little bit bumpier in places, but it's a lot better in other places, you know. So it kind of evens out. But we just have to mind ourselves in the bumpy spots and and make the most on the nice smooth parts. Listen, Brian, it's great to have you back. Thank have you a very great much. one. Cheers. Look forward to seeing what you do over the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We have plenty more content coming up over the next two weeks, so stay tuned. Thank you.